Hi, my name is Kate Condon and this is going to be my final work experience vlog for Tosca. Um, it was an incredible two weeks and this one is going to be slightly longer um, just to talk about the dress rehearsal that was on Thursday night and I need to talk about the five points that we are needed to um, complete as part of this program. So I'm really excited to talk about it because it's been a long time in the making so I'm just going to get started right away. So to start off about the final rehearsal as a whole, I thought it was absolutely incredible. I finally got to see the Act 3 set, which I was really excited about, because like I mentioned, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it was so good. By that final dress rehearsal, I was actually really almost fluent with the music, and I, I'm always singing along little motifs of characters and stuff like that, so I felt like... Um, when we got to this point, I was almost quoting certain parts. I knew when Tosca was going to fly into a rage. So I felt very connected to the show, um, which was really, really cool. And I went with two of my close friends, which was really nice to share the experience because I've become quite... just... I don't know how to put it. I've become... like I have Tosca in my heart. So it was nice to share that with some other people. Um, it was nice to kind of do our final picture with the other work experience girls. I'm really, really gonna miss them. So, uh, Sarah, Maddie, Kathy, Kathy, Ashley, and Anne, I'm gonna miss you girls so much. Um, and I hope that we all, um, will stay in communication and stuff like that, because I think we're all going to be quite involved in the arts, and I think it'll be nice to see where our paths go in seven years because of this experience. Um, so next I'm going to talk about the five points that I need to make sure that I have done to kind of complete this work experience. Even though we did a lot of sitting and observing and interviewing this experience, we got a ton out of the experience, um, which was really cool. So now I'm just going to talk about it, and yeah. So the first point says, demonstrate um, the behavior and worth work ethic that is expected in a professional performing arts company. Um, so we talked a little bit about this with Colleen, um, but she says we have all demonstrated this correctly, and I agree. We were all on time. We really saw what it was like working in a professional theater and how important it was to be on time, to not be running around and doing silly things, because there is a time and a place for that. Um, but I think that we all, seven of us, really saw that and demonstrated that. So I was proud of us, and I thought that that was quite easy to check off that point. So the next one says, identify elements of your previous coursework and experience that are similar to the production process at Vancouver Opera. So basically, throughout all of my vlogs, I've kind of tied it back to the stuff I'm doing as I have a fairly... I have a lot of theatre and music background, so I was prepared going into this experience. Like I said, the pace at which Vancouver Opera goes is like nothing I've ever seen. We were there for two weeks, from the very roughest beginning to the final dress rehearsal. That is ridiculous. I can't even write a paper in two weeks. I can't memorize like a monologue in two weeks. And these people were singing on stage at a really professional level in costumes, hair and makeup, hitting the right cues. It was absolutely phenomenal. One thing that does connect back to my experiences though is that source of teamwork. And even at the end of the two weeks, the performers and the crew members knew us and they were joking around with us and they were being really nice. Um, so it really, it shows you that feel, and that's something that really draws me to the arts, as I mentioned, that family aspect. I love getting to know people that want the same things as you and that are willing to work for them. So it was really nice to know that um, that feel doesn't get lost in a big um, company like Vancouver Opera. They are very caring for one another, and I think that that is really, really cool. Another cool thing about my past experience and my Vancouver Opera experience now was comparing the operas that I had seen to Tosca. Um, I've seen Magic Flute, Tea, and now Tosca, and I thought that they were all very different, but it was very cool to see, like, oh, these composers use motifs, these characters use costume, or a certain feature about the bad guy or the good guy to show that clearly to the audience, which I thought was really cool. Um, I got to know Tosca a lot more than I got to know Magic Flute and T, which probably is why I, I like Tosca more, but it was just really interesting to see that um, throughout most opera themes though, there's that hero and there's tragedy and there's overcoming 
difficult things. Um, so I will be interested to learn more about different operas and see that if that theme continues and how different elements uh, connect back to what I already have learned. All right, so the next one is identify how performance is shaped through collaborative process by the artistic staff and how the process is supported by production staff. Again, I've talked about this kind of overall in my vlogs, um, but I'll go over it again. Um, I've mentioned it a lot. There were three really main groups that worked together um, at the production level of things to get the opera where it was. That were was the stage managers, the stage directors, and the musical directors with like the conductors and the repeaters and stuff like that. Um, obviously they had to work extremely hard. Um, frankly, I'm impressed how they all do it, um, especially because they're dealing with music, which meant when the musical director was um, making sure that they were standing in the right spots and stuff like that, he needed to be aware of beats, he needed to make sure he knew when the climaxes in the piece were, he needs to know the music just as well as any of the um, singers or as the musical director, which I thought was really cool. Again, as well as the stage managers, they were um, cueing people, so they were counting the beats, they were going with their hand and go, um, which I thought was really cool, and obviously they needed to sit down and know their jobs really well and work together to help each other. Um, between all of the breaks, they were always shouting out notes to each other, making sure people were writing it down, and obviously all three parts were imperative for the success of this opera. I think another really cool thing about the collaborative process at Vancouver Opera is how that they involve the um, assistants. Um, in each section there is up to two assistants for each job section type thing, and that way you're getting new art or sorry, new um, workers into the business and giving them a chance to work in such a large company. And especially with the people that are interns who have never really done that before, I thought it was really cool to show them and get their feedback on different productions that they might not have the opportunity to give and information that they might not be able to gain just from sitting in a classroom and how each of the different categories of music, um, stage directing, and stage management um, work to kind of foster each person's uh, career and help move them forward. So for this part I'm gonna kind of talk about specifically what each section does because I feel like I haven't really done that as well in my past vlogs. So I'll talk about kind of what I've kind of seen over this experience. So first with stage manager, they are basically, in my opinion, God backstage. Yes, the director and the musical conductor have done a lot and are doing a lot, but if you have a problem or something goes wrong, you go straight to the stage manager. And they were extremely good about solving problems backstage at Tosca. Um, they organize everyone is a really big thing and calling cues. So um, I think Sheila is up in the booth with the um, technical operators and she'll be ready Q4 for lighting changes. And that's a really important part because without that, it wouldn't run as smoothly and there could be human error and stuff like that. But the stage manager definitely needs to be on, um, which makes it really cool. Um, another thing that's really important about the stage manager is they deal with the actors. If there's a problem or someone's being difficult, which no one was at Tosca, but I could see that being a problem in other productions elsewhere, um, definitely you have to have good people skills and you have to be able to deal with other people in different um, categories of jobs, which I think is really cool because you get to meet a lot of interesting people and that could be good or bad. Um, another really important thing is they take notes on everything. If a prop moves from downstage left to upstage right. They have a note for it, they have who is doing it, they have on what beat, and it just means that they are ridiculously organized, which I really admire, and I think that is really important um, for the overall production, because I think if you don't have people tracking that, you'll get on stage and be, where's the candlestick, where's the fan, and these are all really important things. Um, another really important thing um, are the stage um, stage manager or the assistant stage manager? Sorry, um, we had three in this production. I think two and an intern, um, and they were doing really cool stuff. Um, I kind of more related to them because they are actually backstage with the actors on either side of the um, 
on the stage, they're queuing, they're dealing with the smaller actor problems if they can deal with before it goes to the higher up level of Sheila. Um, some of one takes props and one takes like costumes and other things like that and so that they make sure that someone is in charge of that so if something goes wrong you can easily find who can fix it instead of running around trying to figure out who can handle it. Um, and then just general help. They're there to be helpful. They have a job. They set the stage. They clean up the stage. They are extremely important people and I definitely could see myself doing that job in the future.